hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time coming across this channel my name is no lorraine so today i am back with another interesting video for you guys today i'm going to be taking you guys along for my weekly food shopping so i usually buy my groceries on a weekly basis i don't do the whole monthly grocery shopping at the end of the month thing because i buy most of my groceries like in bulk maybe three times a year or two times a year so I will usually buy like the toiletries, the um, lotions, washing soap, uh, bathing soap, um, the tissues, like most of the stuff we need for the house and the cleaning of the house. I will usually buy that in bulk, like at the beginning of the year and then maybe around June for the rest of the year. So my, I don't need to buy a lot of things at the end of the month. So I usually just buy my things weekly. And today I'm going to first go to the local market to get like tomatoes, onions, some fresh foods because I just honestly feel like it's cheaper that side. And then after that I'm going to check out like the small shops around the local market. If you guys watched my last video then you remember me complaining about how things are expensive really expensive in these big shops i won't mention any names <laughs> but if you guys live in zimbabwe then you definitely know that things are more expensive in the bigger shops i think they are being affected by like the bank rate and stuff like that so you, you don't really get a lot of value for uh, a lot of groceries for the money that you pay so today i'm going to be checking out like the small shops around our local market and buy a few things that are i need from there and yeah guys i just thought it was going to be an interesting video to take you guys along with me so let me not talk too much and let's get going everyone is already waiting for me in the car and guys if you're a mom then you know that you can't go anywhere alone my kids won't let me have peace and buy groceries and peace so they're already waiting for me in the car and i'm just going to get going now so let's go
back from the market now I also couldn't record in some of the shops because people are not comfortable with that so I had to ask but other people were not comfortable with it so I didn't record but now I'm just going to show you guys what I managed to get so let me show you guys what I got for today so these are the items that I bought today and I'm just going to go through them one at a time so my first stop was at the market this is where I managed to get the fresh foods the bananas and their bananas are really nice and fresh so I got all these bananas for um, $1.50 and then the next item that I got were the cucumbers so these are about four cucumbers and these were dollar for these they are really nice and fresh and then the next item I got were carrots these are the carrots that I got and these were 50 cents I also got peas I like to put this in our fried rice and in my stews this was also 50 cents and then I got green beans I also like to use this in my stews and our fried rice or maybe just as a side for as a side dish these were also 50 cents and then I also got the green peppers and red peppers they are not as nice as the ones you get in <laughs> in the big shops but they will do so I like to use this to also for the fried rice and also for pizzas that's when I usually use this and then the next thing that I got were the oranges so I got like oranges for two dollars got about 20 oranges here and these were going for a dollar dollar eight to dollar ten I'm not sure anymore but this was the next item that I bought and then next I got some onions the onions were a bit expensive because I think they're going for a dollar for four right now so these were a bit expensive and then the next item that I got was this type of beans, the sugar beans. This is my favorite type of beans. So I don't usually buy the baked beans because I don't really like uh, baked beans. So what we do is we usually just boil these and then pack them and freeze them. And then when we're having breakfast, we just take one packet out and cook some soup and then mix and you've got your beans for breakfast and then the next thing that I got was the red I like the brown the kids like the white uh, bread this is from Baker's Inn and the other one is from Lobos so this can last us for up to maybe four days and then the next item I got was salt, countryside salt So over here we've got a pack of Maputi. I love 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 Maputi. The kids also really like Maputi so they'll have this as a snack. And then next I got some tomatoes. These tomatoes are really big guys. Look at the size of these tomatoes. So I got a small bucket for about three dollars. So these will definitely last us for about two weeks. And then the next thing that I got was this spaghetti. The kids really wanted spaghetti, so I bought this brand. This is my first time actually um, buying this brand. So yeah, I'll see how it is. 
but these are good for quick meals during the week especially lunches you can just quickly make some spaghetti and you know soup or something so the next item that i got are apples guys if you go to these big stores apples are so expensive but at the market these were two dollars fifty for this pack of apples and they look really really fresh the next thing that I got was this crate of eggs they're nice and big and fresh and I use this for breakfast, for baking we use a lot of eggs in this house especially for baking I like to bake so I bake maybe two times a week so I'll definitely be using this a lot this way $3.60 for this tray of eggs and then next uh, I got tomato sauce this is my favorite type of tomato sauce guys it's an old time favorite I grew up eating this rubber tomato sauce my kids love it we all love it so this is the tomato sauce that we use in this house and this was dollar put this for a dollar and then the next item that I got was the sun gem. It's also an oldie but a goodie. If you're Zimbabwean, then you definitely grew up eating this gem. And yeah, my little one loves it. She will not have bread with anything else. This is what she asks for all the time. So last week when I got home, she showed me the empty bottle. They just finished uh, the one that we had, so I had to buy another one. And yeah. The next item that I got was this cooking oil, the pure drop. It's my favorite, and you can't get it from the big shops anymore. You have to go to those small shops. So, this is what I got. And then the next item was this flower this is about 2.5 kgs of self-raising wheat flour so like I told you guys I really like to bake and yeah I'll be baking a lot of cakes with this I like the snowflake brand they've got really good flowers I've tried some other brands but I don't really like them this is my favorite brand The last item I got was this bag of potatoes and this was $5 it's heavy there are a lot of potatoes in here I don't usually buy this big bag because the potatoes tend to rot before we use them but today I decided to buy I usually buy the white ones and those ones usually go bad quickly but the brown ones I had a bit better so that's why I bought the big bag today and these are all the items that I managed to get today I think everything rounded off to about $35 so I think it's better guys I don't know comment down below how much does a weekly grocery cost for you wherever you're staying I personally think this is doable and we're not going to use all these things in just this week these, some of these things will be used over a period of two weeks or three weeks so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you subscribe and turn on your notification bell for more videos i'll see you in the next one bye